Well, the piano quintet was written with Contempo Quartet, together with them, it was written for them, and um, their ensemble in residence in Galway. So it was a very special project for me to be able to work with them throughout the course of the piece, and I did a lot of consultation about string playing and sounds and kind of experimenting a bit and getting ideas. And then I put the piece together and I uh, performed the premiere with them and I have recorded it with them. So it's, it's a very special work for me. It's one of the best things about performing contemporary music is that you get to consult with the composer. Uh, and they're still alive. They're still <laughs> alive, exactly. Uh, and it's one of the things I enjoy about uh, doing contemporary music is always working with the composer before performance if possible. Uh, because there can be questions in the score. Um, things may not be necessarily clear or things may have been changed since, you know, with different uh, publishings of the score. Uh, so, yeah, the session this afternoon has been really invaluable and um, definitely put the whole piece in a, in your new pr perspective, I think. I mean, I'm learning from Isabel as well. And, um, you know, it, it, it normally, I guess I would be playing my pieces and I've played this piece, but it's fantastic to hear someone else playing them and, and to be able to, to listen and, and to get their interpretation on it as well. It's wonderful. Well, it's a wonderful honour, of course. It's one of the finest halls in the world, and I think any composer is going to be thrilled to know that their work will be played there. Um, there's such a history to the building, and um, you know, that's such, such an aura, really, about the place. Um, yeah, for me, it is wonderful to connect my American beginnings with my Irish professional life. Um, so I, I love going back for, for professional reasons and it, it brings together the, the two parts of my life really. Well obviously it's always a thrill to perform contemporary Irish composers overseas and uh, particularly to do it at Carnegie Hall. I think it's going to be a great event. Uh, I know the concert that myself and Carol were involved in last year was a tremendous success and there was great interest uh, in contemporary Irish music and hopefully this one will be a successful and just because New York is also you know the hub of new music within the United States so I, th I think it's really important that Irish composers be heard there pretty active in Australia uh, uh, in May I was touring Australia with Crash Ensemble um, that was a terrific experience and uh, in October, after the Carnegie concert, I'm actually playing at the Belfast Festival, and I'm going to be doing a couple of world premieres there uh, by Northern Irish composers Peter Rosser and Brian Irvine. Um, so that's going to be a very interesting project as well that's in the works. Um, so I just, I just love working with different composers, both Irish composers and, and American composers too. I'm very involved with several composers on the state side of things. Um, and yeah, it's something I love to do. Great.